For most of us, it's that time of the year where winter has fully set in, and that means having to deal with rain or snow or just cold, miserable weather in general. And as a skateboarder, naturally, this can kind of suck. And so I'm going to be talking about a few of the things you can do to scratch that skateboarding itch when you can't go out and skate. Up first is an obvious one, but I'm going to say skating in your garage. Now, of course, not everyone has an enclosed garage that they can use. But if you do, then you're in luck, because obviously this isn't the best place in the world to skate, but it's better than nothing. And any old garage should keep you dry and out of the elements for long enough to hopefully get that skateboarding fix. And of course you're not going to have things like stair sets and ledges, but there's nothing wrong with a good old flat ground session. So what should you do if you don't have a garage or another covered space at your house? Well, we're going to do a little branching out and try to find a parking garage or other covered areas. So whether it's a parking garage, a gazebo at a park, or the covered lunch area at a school, with a little hunting, you can probably find yourself a spot that's either covered or even fully enclosed out in the wild. Personally, I prefer something like a parking garage because they tend to be almost completely covered from the outside. But this also comes with the obvious downsides of dealing with things like security. And if you do happen to find yourself a nice covered area at a school or something, then maybe try to go on a weekend or during some sort of winter vacation, and potentially you'll be able to squeeze in a full skate session. Next, we're going to venture back to our houses and see what we can do inside. And we're going to start off with carpet boarding. So carpet boarding is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, and that's when you take either a deck by itself or an actual skateboard with wheels, and you're skating on your carpet. Not only can this help you improve your skateboarding and just keep yourself in practice, but it's also a lot of fun. Now, like I mentioned, you can either do this with just a deck, or you can do it with your normal skateboard. And also, you can do this indoors or out, but if you do do it inside, then make sure that you're away from walls and anything that could break. So basically, just put your skateboard down and skate like you normally would. And now, of course, it's going to feel a bit different because you're on carpet and you kind of sink in. And especially if you're not using any wheels, it's going to just be a totally different experience. But if you kind of mess around with it, you should be able to pick it up pretty fast and see what you can do. Doing different shove it variations is a good starting point. And then once you've sort of gotten the feeling of it, you can work your way up to maybe some flip tricks. Either way though, whether you're doing laser flips or just practicing your manuals, carpet boarding is definitely a fun thing to do when you can't go out and skate. And speaking of things you can do while you're inside to help practice, we're going to take another look at the balance board. So basically the DIY homemade balance board is just filling up a 2 liter with some water and then using a deck with no trucks or wheels. And then you kind of hop up onto the 2 liter and try to keep your balance. This is another one that you can do indoors or out, and on carpet or hard ground. The idea here is that once you get up onto the 2 liter and you're balancing, this can help with things like manuals and nose manuals, and maybe even branch out into other things like helping with your board slides. It can feel a little funny at first if you've never tried it before, but once you get the hang of it and you can stay up balanced for a long time, it's actually a lot of fun. And I know some people can actually do tricks and land back on their board, but I haven't gotten that far. But if it's something that you're interested in, then definitely look into that. At the very least, then you can kind of just mess around with this and have some fun. And at best, maybe you'll improve your balance. Either way, I highly recommend giving this one a shot. So at this point, what if you're stuck at home and you don't have a garage, you don't have any way to go out to find a covered area, you're not allowed to carpet board inside, and you don't have a 2 liter? Well, we can still do a couple things that will aid us in the future for when we actually can go out and skate. And the first one of those would be finding skate spots. So there's actually a few different websites and apps that you can use to find skate spots around you. I have checked out a few of them and they can have a good amount of spots depending on where you live. But one of the surefire methods that I've used for years now is just opening up Google Maps and looking around. Now you don't want to just randomly look everywhere because that'll take forever and you probably won't really find much. But if you focus your view on things like business parks and schools, and then you can go into street view and look around almost like you were driving through the streets. I actually have found a good amount of spots this way, but really it's going to depend on your town and if you already kind of know where the schools are and the business parks. Either way though, it doesn't hurt to give it a shot and maybe you'll find something you didn't know existed. And then finally, the last thing that I'll recommend, which is probably the most obvious, is just staying at home and watching skate videos. I've talked about it before and I still stand by it, and whether it's just watching an old skate video, or watching YouTube videos or Instagram, 
I think that just kind of watching skateboarding in general can help inspire you and maybe push you to learn new things. You can specifically watch things like trick tips, or you can just watch some skate parts from skaters who inspire you, or maybe some competitions. Either way though, if you can't be out there skateboarding surrounded with your friends, then this is probably the next best thing. As long as you keep skating fresh and fun in your head, then when you finally can get out there and skate again, then hopefully it'll be like you never had to take a break and you'll be right back to it. So whether you're going out and trying to find a parking garage to skate at, or you're staying inside and doing some carpet boarding and balance boarding, either way, it's important to keep yourself creative and finding ways that you can get your skateboarding fix. And these were just a few of my suggestions. I would be really curious to hear about what you do when you can't skate because of bad weather or whatever it might be. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments. As always, I'd like to thank my wonderful Patreon pledgers for being so awesome. And I'd like to thank you for watching, and you can like and subscribe if you want.